Hello everybody and welcome to episode 31 of the Chesterfield of Dreams. I apologise that uh, it's been a while since the last update, but uh, I think we've got a lot to talk about uh, if we left it sporadically like I have rather than uh, frequent, I think uh, you'll enjoy the episode a bit more. But uh, unfortunately the news is not so good since we last met in October. The league looks like this. We have played 25 games with 5 wins, 10 draws and 10 defeats. We are still reasonably clear of the relegation zone, but our lovely uh, 11 point lead over over the uh, bottom dwellers was uh, quickly taken away from us as we just cannot win at the minute. It's been really, really desperate to say the least. If you look at our last 5 games, we're among the bottom in terms of form. And it's just very unfortunate as we deserve a lot better than this. And uh, we have a decent home record, but away is uh, among the worst. So we've really got to pick ourselves up and find a way through. So here you can see exactly the scale of what's gone wrong. Ever since this game against Ipswich, we've only won one game. And we're now in the new year, 1st of January 2020. So we did give Stoke a great game here, turning a one-goal deficit into a 3-1 victory but from here on in it just seems to have gone badly wrong uh, a valiant performance here against Watford but we really should have avoided conceding three goals especially after taking the lead Huddersfield a nil all draw nothing exciting there uh, a very winnable game here but it took a 90th minute own goal to break down our uh, bottom uh, rivals Charlton Athletic so Stephen Henderson put the ball into his own net so very unlucky and then a 2 all draw against Blackburn, which is the worst result of the lot. Because we're 2 nil up at half-time. And I told them they're playing very well. But I said it in an assertive tone, which should have meant something. But it didn't. So Blackburn found their way back into the game. And I was absolutely furious about that. Um, Barnsley, we did very, very poorly here. Adam Reddington, who's been demanding first-team football, did himself no favours by uh, putting in two feet into his tackle. And he got himself red carded. And Burnsley, despite being a team we should be beating, had uh, eventually got the result. Crystal Palace, another tough game. But I think they deserve to win. And yet again, we had a man sent off. Uh, Ollie Banks within 10 seconds of the second half starting when we're only 1-0 uh, down at half time. But it all happened in the second half with a 3-2 loss in the end. 0-0 against both Wigan and Nottingham Forest. Had we scored in that either of those games... Uh, we would have definitely ended our uh, non-winning streak but in fairness this Nottingham Forest game was very very positive result they're the best team in the league I think Rotherham uh, again I hate playing them there the new Bristol City and uh, Stephen McLaughlin managed to put a brace past us then uh, this game here twice it crashed on me the first time when I was saving the game the game just crashed and I had to reload the game play again and then when I was going to win, the game had a crash dump, so I couldn't even keep that result. So eventually I got this uh, bore nil-nil draw at the... Uh, oh, no, it was this game here, sorry, this one-all draw. That was the failed attempt. So this game was nil-nil at home, and it's probably should have won. We uh, did better at it as we went. A huge amount of games without scoring. And then when we did score two, Bournemouth just dominated and scored six as Reddington picked up an injury and uh, that was our worst performance of the season but not as devastating as that 2 all draw Blackburn now this was the game I was talking about Sorry, uh, I played it twice without being able to save and the results were lost and then uh, the best I could manage in my third attempt was this rather disappointing one all draw but we did get a penalty at Bramall Lane and that's fair enough and then our most recent result a 1-0 loss to Leicester very valiant but again we just cannot seem to create the chances and uh, if we look at our, uh, let's look at our st uh, season info, um, the goals have not been coming at all. Like a lot of players have scored a goal, but not many can claim to be uh, anywhere near a decent score. Like Lee Griffiths is completely over, uh, like he's over, uh, I don't know what's the word, um, He's overwhelmed by this league. Yeah, that's just dramatic. Like, to go from 28 goals to 4 goals just because we got promoted, that's just ridiculous, really. But at least he's got a, a massive 6 assists. But that just says it all, really. I can't get any of the players to score goals. And uh, Benneke Fobay 
hasn't scored in the league and neither has uh, Jordi Hewula if we can find him anywhere. I know, well, he would have scored two goals this season, but neither were in the league, which is very concerning. So we have to try and find a new striker in the uh, transfer market. But uh, one thing I have done, uh, if we look at the average rating first, so very few players can possibly say they've been good enough. But the best signing I've made has been Sean Kavanagh. Of all my uh, new signings, he's been absolutely outstanding. And he's starting to get caps for the Republic of Ireland, which is uh, it's very endearing to me. Um, but a lot of players have been very, very below average. But uh, down here, you can see Kenji Gore. He was completely uh, discarded by Brighton. And we've brought him back immediately. Like, they've barely played him. And that's just not on. So we just, like, take him over. He didn't play a single game at all for Brighton this season. So we swooped in and we paid 300k monthly in instalments to bring him back. And I'm delighted that this... Uh, you know, winger can come back and play for us, but I think Gubbly Aribli will have to take the hit and uh, leave the club as a consequence. We're trying to get rid of him at the minute, but he hasn't had a great season. It could be better, but it could have been worse. But I think the time has come to let him go. And uh, you can see we've had a lot of injuries as well. Sean Wilson's still out. Sean Hutchinson is out. Stephen Kinsella out again. Um, Pablo Hernandez out. Uh, Jack Price was out for a long time. Um, who else would have been? Uh, Reddington had an injury. Um, I'd say Jimmy Ryan had a bit of an injury. Um, and then players getting suspended as well. Noe Baba has been injured. So a lot of players not being able to play properly. And that's just been the two main reasons why we're not good enough this season. But we are still miles away from relegation compared to what we were. Uh, like a good few seasons ago um, like I'll just try and find the history uh, competitions uh, domestic league so championship we got 40 points in 2015-16 and we're only a few points away from relegation so if we can get 7 more wins and uh, you know obviously we've got a lot more draws we could definitely survive we're definitely capable of it and it's just really upsetting that we cannot win at the minute and uh, we have this FA Cup game at home to Peterborough, who are mid-table in League One uh, as we speak. So it's a massive opportunity to get a win on the board. It doesn't matter how we get it as long as we do. And I'll be very, very cross if we cannot win this game. So the pressure is back on the players. We don't know what to do here. It's just been very, very unlucky. But we have ourselves to blame for some of these results. When it's nil-nil, we should be getting on the score sheet. And then when we do get on the score sheet, we concede. So I don't know what the problem is. If we look at our training, we've obviously put a lot of emphasis into attacking and defending. Um, not too much into team cohesion, but maybe that's something I'm missing. So uh, maybe we'll switch that now, actually. Um, we're very busy um, in the new year period as well. So um, we'll switch that off and uh, see what we can do. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, roundup of the episode, but we'll just see the result against Peterborough. We won't show any highlights, but we'll just talk about it when the time comes. So uh, cheerio for now. Well, 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 it just carries on and on. And another uh, lack of a victory. It's a draw in the home uh, game against Peterborough. We'll now have to go to their ground and try and eke out a result. But it was a very winnable game. We were better in the second half. But we gave away a very, very soft penalty that uh, John Lundstrom converted very uh, well, in fairness to him. But um, it just it's not good enough for Chesterfield. We really, really cannot afford these extra games. Like, I know I love playing all different players, but this is just getting outrageous now. 14 games without a win, and it's just getting very frustrating. So, uh, what can I do, guys? If you've got any suggestions, leave them down below. But for now, I'm afraid it's time to go. Bye now.